Today we're going to show you how to build the audio bar sound bar kit from Dayton Audio. First thing you want to do, as always, is to make sure you have all of the components. There are a few other things we recommend, including clamps and glue, but you can use whatever you're most comfortable with. Unpack the enclosure components and let's get started there. We're going to build all of it now, except for the front baffle. We'll put that on later. Always double check your pieces for any imperfections before starting. This also includes dry fitting the entire enclosure before gluing. When you're ready, glue all the plywood and fasten with clamps to let it dry. Once it's together, this is a great time to finish the enclosure and baffles to your liking, especially if you want to give the baffles a natural finish. As we start to add the electronics, let's begin with the inductors. Your inductors may have screw holes. If they do, then just use the proper screws to fasten them near the dividers. If not, tie a few of the included zip ties to it and then use the proper screws to, again, fasten it near the dividers. Cut off the solderless terminals on the ends of the left and right speaker wires, and run the blue speaker wire into the left chamber and the red speaker wire into the right chamber. Make sure you leave enough length for each wire to connect to the amplifier in the future. Then glue down the wires and seal the holes in the dividers. Hot glue or even poster tack will work just fine. Cut the 16 AWG speaker wire into four pieces, two 16 inch lengths and two 20 inch lengths, and then strip about three quarters of an inch of insulation from each. Probably the trickiest part of this build is connecting the amplifier to the woofers through the inductor. As you know, the wire from the amplifier will have either red or blue as the positive line. You will want to solder that line and the positive line of the 20 inch cable to one of the two leads of the inductor. The other lead from the inductor will then solder to the positive or red side of the 16 inch wire. Lastly, the black or negative side of the amplifier line will solder to the black or negative sides of both the 20 inch and the 16 inch wires, so three in one. Once that's set, go ahead and connect the driver baffles to the rest of the enclosure. Then after the glue dries, you'll be ready for the amplifier. Connect the six inch seven pin cable and then the 23 inch six pin cable. After that, connect the left or blue speaker cable, as well as the right or red speaker cable. Before placing the amp, run the 23 inch cable through the top and the six inch cable through the front. Then place and attach the plate amp using the appropriate screws. After that, connect the control panel to the 23 inch cable and then attach it to the enclosure using the appropriate screws. Lastly, follow suit with the IR LED panel, connecting it to the six inch wire and then attaching it to the enclosure as well. Now on the furthest sides of the audio bar, prepare the wires by stripping a half inch of insulation from each line and crimping the correct female disconnects. Attach three washers per driver to the passive radiators and install them onto the enclosure. Lastly, connect the wires appropriately to the DMA 80-8 drivers and just like the radiators, attach them to the enclosure. That's it, you're all done. Learn more about all the speaker kits we have at Parts Express by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and happy building.